Hey, you guys. My my flag on my computer is pissing me off, man. You know, like, yeah. The girl from another country came to America. That they always say America has, America is freedom. America is is like. You know, America is really, you know, America is basically freedom. America, you can make the right decision, or you can make the wrong decision, but you know what, you still, you still feel like, you know, America, you can live your dream, you can make something out of yourself, you can make something out of you out who you are basically you know what I'm talking about but you know what that's what life is about life is about living life is about trust love it life is about loving life is about forgiveness life is about caring life is about and not under not understanding in your own behalf but you understand things that or you don't have to understand what God has plans for you but the thing is about is it's about believing. It's about faith. With faith, it takes you a long way. That's the reason why when I'm telling you this because I never in my my life when I was a child, I always been a I always I I grew up in church. Even though I grew up in church, but I was still heartbroken by losing my loved one, by losing people close to me. But going through my own process in my life, I felt like I was hopeless. I felt like, why would God love somebody who's hopeless? Why would God love somebody, love a girl who is lost and does not understand a lot of things that goes in here, in this world? So I poured my heart. I didn't basically pour it out. I was just telling you my story and what I went through and how I got out of it. I didn't get out of it by myself. The age of eight, I got baptized. I got baptized when I was a child. I got baptized again. The age of eight. Before I got baptized, I started singing a choir. So all my life, every time I was a child, I would tell myself, oh my gosh, you know what? I should become a singer. You know what? My mom became a singer. My mom did it. You know, my mom can, you know, achieve her dream. When she was alive, so I could retrieve mine. I could do what I want to do, or what I love, or what I what I love to do. Basically, basically, you know, stuff like that. So all my life, I always wanted to be a singer. I always wanted to 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 do a lot of things. I always want to be a singer so bad. And I was about to achieve my goal, and I was like, I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that. And I was like, you know what? If I if I'll be a mother one day, like in the future, and like you know, graduate high school, get go to college, get my degree, they have kids. But sometimes you know, God playing is like the opposite direction. But you always you always tell yourself. I want to give my child something I never had. And I understand what your position in is. But you, you, the thing about it, I'm just going to tell you is, you don't have to be ashamed of yourself. I was, I was ashamed of myself, and I'm not going to lie about that. Yes, I was ashamed of myself. Yes, I committed a sin. So today I am a human being, and I will sin. But you know what? But you know what? When you love somebody and you find somewhere in you and you find out that something about you is so special. Not only to your not only to you, not only to your closest friends, not only to your family, but basically the most person who created you. Basically I'm just gonna tell you this. You are more than you ever think in your life you you will ever be. You know? You are more. You are pretty. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are amazing. You are great. You are awesome. You are a great mother. You are a great father. You you are a great sibling. You are a great you know brother. You are a great sister. 
you know, you, 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 you love people so much that you never thought in your life that you ever, that was the thing that you are doing, you know, but basically in my life, I felt like, you know what, I feel like, man, whatever, I feel like, I feel like, you know what, I just gave up completely, totally, papu. Earlier, I did feel like that. I feel like I should just give up my career. I shouldn't just not care about it. I should not go, you know, forward with it. It was no point of me going forward with my career. Like, shh, me a singer, like, shh. Like, I ever going to make a singer, really? Like, seriously? But, and I thought about that. I was like, why would I fail? To the point that it's, it's something greater about me that I need to achieve or I need to go out there and go do or I need to find something about myself that I never see in me or I never see it in myself or I never or I never find it or I never understand it or I never get it. You know, but like I said before, you are not alone in any position. You never been alone. Cause there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us that go through your situation. There's a lot of us used to be in your shoes. There's a lot of us understand that it's never easy in your lifetime. And there's a lot of us who parents became a, a widow. We understand how many, we understand that you lost the love. But basically you have to understand this part is, we also in the world, we also in the world that we lost the loved ones. So my, like I said before, my condolence goes out to you. You know, my condolence still goes out to you. Regardless what you go through in your life, regardless who, regardless what the devil wants you to do or what the devil is trying to tell you to do don't do whatever the devil is trying to tell you like go to the left but basically you know what even though you're going to the left even though you you are you are you are facing your darkest hours or your darkest moments or your darkest times but guess what but guess what god is always there and he knows what's best for you even though you do not agree it even though you don't you you don't get it, even though you don't see it, but the plan that God has for you is ten times more plan than anybody in this world. You can still do music, you can still do acting, you can still do dancing, you can still play soccer. That would never that would that would never in your life change anything. You know what I'm saying? That would never in your life change anything. You can see, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Keep that to yourself. Keep that. Tell people. If you meet a friend and your friend is down and your friend want to give up, just tell her or him, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. If you feel like your neighbor does not agree with you and you be like, hey, your neighbor's like, Psh, whatever. And be like, if you feel like low, and be like, like you know so sad like just tell your neighbors say i could do all things to christ who heavenly strengthens me everything that you do keep telling yourself i can do all things to christ who heavenly strengthens me that's what i have to tell you keep doing what you do be the best that you can possibly be achieve your goal don't give up don't let the devil push you down and don't push your own self down and basically keep believing because believing is seeing and seeing is believing. Your faith will take you a long way in life. Whatever you want to do, as long as you put God in it and as long as you trust Him and as long as you believe in Him, you will see how far you can go in life and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I just put my feelings out there for you two guys to hear me. Thank you for listening.